Welcome to another edition of From a Fair Dive View. Yep. On Pi Radio, hosted by myself, Flawless Mr. Take Note, JV, and Stro will be ringing in at some point. Obviously, the coronavirus has affected everybody. This is why we are slightly late, but the show must go on. Shout out mm-hmm. Big Sol in the building, as always. Big S. And we have a very, very, very special guest in the building. Mm-hmm. Biggest guest we've ever had, you feel me? Yeah. Biggest guest, easily, easily the biggest easily. guest. Former Hereford. Kidderminster striker Leroy, Leroy Make. What's going on, Leroy? You good? You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you Yo, very give much. Give him a round of yeah, applause. Round you get me proper, <laughs> proper, proper things. Proper things. Proper things. We will be trying to get strong on the show, but like I said, like you said on one of the episodes, we did live radio, live problems. But yeah. we will get there. You feel me? You feel, we'll get there. We'll get there. But where should we start? Um, obviously, Leroy, you had Hereford was your main club, I would say. Is that right? Would you go with that? Yeah, I would go with that. Uh, Hereford and Kidderminster, I would say, uh, both my m- main clubs. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, how would how what was the most what's the highlight of your career? That's what I'll ask you first. What was the highlight of your career? Got to be when I turned professional. To be fair. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was my dream. Um, it was a dream that I've had since a little boy, and so, you know, um. There was many, obviously, obstacles before I got there because I didn't make professional until I was 22. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 professional. Mad. So um, I came from non-league to the Dell. And, um, you know, at the time, I was just scoring goals and that was it. That's that's what got me noticed. I just kept on scoring goals and somebody came. I like how you casually said that. I was just scoring goals. Just scoring yeah, goals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just scoring goals. Top striker. Top striker. Top striker. Yeah. Top striker. Top striker. Yeah. Top striker. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> you know, the, the goals do the talking. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing, no need to do any talking when obviously the goals are doing the talking for me. And clubs were coming. Club, um, managers, scouts and uh, were coming to see the matches that I was playing in. So, you know, it just went from there. Um, Warsaw, I went to Hereford because um, the manager of Tiverdale, he, you know, he opened the door for me. Mm. But um, once I went um, to Warsaw, because I went there free, um, they didn't pay a fee for me or anything. I went there for um, next to nothing. Um mm. Uh, I played three trial games and the third trial game I scored a hat-trick against Northampton. We won 7-1. The first two games we won, but I didn't score. That was against Shrewsbury. Then we played Notts County, which was a 2-2 draw. Yeah, I didn't score. So I played my final game and scored a hat-trick. And obviously after scoring that hat-trick, this Warsaw signed me on the 25th of February, 1992. <laughs> <laughs> remember the date remember, God, the remember date. that you know well, that yeah, could, to be fair it could be 93 you know? <laughs> it's we'll, a long we'll time 92, ago. 93 season yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 92, 93 you cover yeah. it that's what that is so you know like with you saying that there because I remember um, reading up about Ian Wright and he started late yeah, <laughs> go to go to go You know, smile for the camera. Yeah, yeah smile yeah, for the yeah. camera. See, is Ian Wright was my um, he was my hero. Yes, yeah. okay. Growing up, um, I just love everything about Ian Wright. The way he conducted himself, you know, he's got that little rogue about him. Yeah, as well. you know what I mean. Where he's yeah. like, you know, I miss a nice guy, but with, please don't. Yeah, don't, don't think try it. Can don't try take it, it there. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what I loved about Ian Wright. Plus, he was my mum's favorite player as well. Yeah. Yeah. See, he was he was um, early nineties. Yeah, well, uh, early. I would say early nineties, um, all through the nineties. To be fair, because I grew up, basically grew up with Ian Wright. There was uh, the first football match I ever went to. I was only eight, and that was to see West Brom and yeah. Cyril Regis. Yes, Moses. They're the Cunningham. forefathers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah the forefathers. Yeah. It, it was it was brilliant seeing. Um, Albion and seeing a live match at such a young age and obviously um, the icon that Cyril Regis and those other gentlemen went on to be, you know, and obviously opened the doors for people like myself to come through as well. So, yeah, yeah it so, was good. like, See, like when I was saying Ian Wright, um, he then, started similarly. Well, well, sorry to cut you off. I am trying to get straw on the line, people, so I'm not being ignorant to the conversation, oh, yeah. but continue. Yeah, yeah just focus on Ian like, um, Wright. May. Similarly, you said you started late. Yeah. So with you starting late, was it, and it was non-league? 
Yeah, he, he said so. He was non league. He started later than usual, yeah. than, than it would be nowadays. Actually, yeah. it's, it's coming a bit back to that nowadays where they're giving the people the chances um, later on. Um, but um, we can hear that in the headphones, you know. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I took it off. So, um, my bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, what I was saying is, what was you doing as you was playing non league? Was it like. I was working as well. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a job. Yeah. I had a, to be fair, I had a great job. I had a job at Rover. <laughs> oh, yeah. That yeah, yeah, time yeah. Rover was like... Rover was big. big, money. big yeah, <laughs> big business them times, isn't yeah. it? Wait, where exactly yeah. is Rover? Rover Long Longbridge. Oh, it's, it's gone now. Right, Rover's the way you were saying that, I thought it was a pub or something. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Rover. <laughs> Rover. Like, See, like... You told me Rovers don't sound like a pub or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all thinking Coronation Street. That's what Rover's return. You see, like, Rover them times that was on par with like your Ford. Yes. So I can imagine that would have been a- Back then it was a-, it a was very a, good job. It was a brilliant job, especially for somebody like myself. I was 19 when I got the job at Rover. Yeah. And I was like earning I think we did stupid money, about 300 pound a week I was earning. Back then, that's a, that's a lot. That's a good yeah, wage yeah, now. Yeah, so good, I can it imagine then. Wage. It was a good wage. Oh, I can't, can't complain. Um, but when I went through the door, they f- said to me, um, <laughs> When you come through the door, everybody that comes here stays here. I went, mm, nah, I'm going to play football. <laughs> <laughs> so when I did go, because I didn't talk about my football, I just obviously let my football talk for yeah, me. Yeah. So when they read me, read about me in the newspaper, then they started thinking and taking me a bit more seriously because uh, I right. was always in the newspaper because I scored, as I said, I scored goals for fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then, until I turned professional, because like, if you're, a, if you're playing above your standard, this just just how it is until yeah. you move on. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. and I did move on, which was, you know, because I was above the standard that I was playing and that's why I moved on. Mad, mad. Because yes. I've always mm. thought of, you know, like, with it, with you you playing as well, I've always had that dream. Do you know what I mean? And you're you're sat in front of me now, someone who's been pro, yeah. And you're literally saying, you know, that was my dream, and I got that chance. And you know what I mean? There's, a, I know, there's a lot, a lot of boys, because it's boys really that start yeah. off with the dream. You know what I mean? Um, and we all start off. There's loads and. Even though I know I didn't play in the Premier League, um, and I, there was a possibility that I could have, um, which I'll go into, yeah. obviously, a bit later on in the show. But um, what I will say is that it's really... I, didn't, I knew it was hard, but watching and being away back from football and watching, like, I've got a son, 18 now. Yeah. So he's um, he was at Wolves when he was 10. Mm-hmm. So watching the youths and the academies and yeah. everything now which they're in abundance now where yeah. there was it wasn't in abundance for people like myself you know what i mean we had to come through the hard way yeah. you know what i mean um it was totally different back was then wasn't it totally totally i even different. remember my my grandma telling me she yeah, took my uncle mm-hmm. by the air and walked him down to manchester city because <laughs> that's where they used to live around the corner when yeah, the city yeah. was in my side yeah yeah and said he's good <laughs> get, get, give him a trial get yeah, him playing really? you know what I mean and that type of thing so you know what I mean so that's all we're missing is grandma it, yeah <laughs> just that, grandma. Could, that couldn't run now you know what I mean they probably look at her like she was mad but I think he actually got a, they, got, they, got they got him a little look in yeah, yeah. you know what I mean that's good because like there should have been more of us back parents mm. br- gripping our kids by so the ears is, and yeah. taking them because to be fair you know um, we are we are good there are some brilliant, brilliant, brilliant footballers. And yeah, it's, you no, know, doubt it. um, no doubt. Some there's better footballers than me that should have made professional and never made professional. And you have to look and think, yeah. why? Do you know what I mean? But there's so many things that you, so many characters that you have to have strings to your bow. Yeah, that you yeah. know your attitude has to be right, your focus, your mentality. Do you know everything has to be right, it's and you have so to avoid tough. distractions as well. Yeah, yeah. D- so, d- so like the money. peers, peers. Yeah, yeah. When I when I first turned professional, mm. it wasn't like I was I thought I was a bigger than I'm a done and I've reached or anything like that. Because I still went and looked um, and watched the team that I used to play for on a Sunday before I turned professional. Right. I'm with so you. I would get up out of my bed on a Sunday and go and watch my team yeah. play because that's where I started. And you know, not being funny, after a couple of weeks, 
of being a professional footballer, about a month of being a professional footballer, I came one Sunday morning and the game's on the way and I'm watching this game and I'm thinking, did I really play here? <laughs> no one, yeah, it's yeah. not being derogatory or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. looking and I'm thinking, this is so slow. Yeah, you, you spotted the difference yeah, yeah, in quality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In quality. Then, listen, the first day I went training, I, I called for the ball. The ball went, I weren't expecting it because mm. where I was coming from, we were calling 10 times before the ball yeah. came. You ah, know? To, yeah. okay. Professional, as soon as I called for the ball. You the, got it. They listen, the ball, went out on the, the ball went under my foot and went yeah. out of play. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I was expecting it on the fourth or the, yeah, yeah, yeah. where I'm coming from. That's, yeah. So I, I thought, my God, the ball comes first time, you know what I mean? So you better know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> when you're calling for the ball. Man. That's what I mean. You better be ready. I bet it's a big difference. But hold up, Leroy just uh, pop the headphones on one yeah. second. I'm gonna try plugging Stro now to this. Plug him in. See what's going on. Yo, yo Stro, you there? Hello. Hello, can you hear him? Yo, yeah, we can hear you. Hi, I can hear you. Can we hear him? Can you both hear him? Can you hear yeah, JV? Yeah. Alright, we can hear Stro. So Stro, meet JV. I mean Stro, meet Leroy May, Leroy May, meet J uh Stro. He's the other co-host that's normally with us, but Obviously, he couldn't make it due to train cancellations and travel problems, but he's here with us now in spirit. How you doing, big man? I'm all right, you? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Excellent, we can roll. So I don't know how much of the conversation you heard there, but Leroy was just telling us about how when you call for the ball at that level, you get it first time, fizzed into you, rather than calling, waiting three, four, five times. But anything yeah, you yeah. want to ask him and open up with to, for the conversation? Um... Just little things like, because obviously when it was announced that you were coming yeah. on the show, like, weirdly enough, I know a lot of stuff about, like, football and that level and stuff for art because obviously I've done my coaching badges and stuff. But my my big thing, what I've always wanted to know is, because obviously you see it at grassroots level, you see it at Premier League level, what's the changing room morale like? The changing room morale? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so for example, when you go through your highs and lows as a footballer, so obviously when you lose a big game, or when you win a big game, like what's the lowest you've seen the changing room in the time that you were a professional footballer? I've seen a, I've seen the changing room lower quite a few times, you know, and it all depends on, it depends on the loss. I know a loss is a loss, but it depends on how you lose, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which will, because if we lose down to a referee mistake or an offside trap that uh, that yeah, shouldn't yeah. have been, you know. We feel it, but we ain't gonna like be disheartened with that because it happens. Because like what what you may miss out on one part, you'll get back. So it evens itself out. That sort of stuff does. But it's when mm -hmm. the manager goes off, when he goes off, when he goes off, mate. You yeah. know you're in trouble, man, because he. he he changed you Monday to Friday, yeah. you know what I mean? Preparing you for this yeah. game on yeah. a Saturday. Yeah. So if you don't go to plan and we've worked how many days already, then yeah, yeah. It, we deserve to get everything that we've got, especially if we ain't got it, we ain't put it in. And nine times out of ten, as a footballer, there's no substitute for hard work, you know what I mean? Mm. And at the end of the day, from the hard work comes everything else will follow if you ain't putting it in then you you get uh, you get what you get do you know what i mean so i wouldn't say i've been on a few of them but i played against crew one time when i was at hereford and we got six you got oh. b6 six without reply oh. <laughs> not even a consolation though oh. no. not even a consolation did, did yeah. the manager go absolute is that i was gonna ask this anyway once you finish that <laughs> look at strong <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, is that the worst you've seen a manager in your career? Was that was it that six nil, or have you seen worse? Like, I want to know what's the worst you've seen a player get it from a manager. Like, what's the worst roasting he's got? Don't, don't get me wrong, we've had gra there's been grapplings in the changing room. Mm. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? between no, I wouldn't say manager, I mean, more, mm. more players because like a captain. Oh. And a, yeah, yeah, because yeah. like at the end of the day, yeah. we play, we players are passionate, you know, and like. Mm. We ain't going out on a football pitch to lose no game. No, yeah. no. I'm the last person. I don't care who I'm playing, you know. Yeah. I ain't yeah. lost the game until the final whistle goes. Yeah. So Monday to Friday, I'm not I'm focused on winning the game. That's all I'm winning. I could be playing Liverpool, Barcelona, mm. it doesn't matter. All yeah. I'm focused on is winning the game. Mm. I, when we done um went on an FA Cup run for Hereford in my second spell at the club, which was a 
to 99-2000 season. Yeah. Yeah? No word of a lie. Um, I scored the goal in the against York in the first round because we got to the first round proper. Oh. And um, oh. it just went mad. Okay. <laughs> the press, everything. <laughs> and do you know the reason why it went mad? Because... The supporters all run on the pitch and everything. And at the end of the day, well, the man from The Sun, The Sun newspapers mm. interviewing me, you know, and this supporter shouts out, why don't you ask him about his stripping? <laughs> 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 no, whatever, like, you see the... This is what it's you, know, you, know, you know when an Alsatian's ears, a dog's ears are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bing, yeah. I swear, that's how the reporter was it. <laughs> This never left me again after this. This was, mm. So what was that? What was that? What was that? Is his next question. <laughs> we just won a game one, nil us gorgeous. Yeah. It ain't about the game no more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stripping, like, <laughs> and that's how, that's how that has followed me through football. Well, you know I'm what? Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I wanted to know about it. I was going to ask about this because if you put your name in YouTube, <laughs> you come about that comes up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I watch your goals. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I watch your goals. <laughs> the goals are great. You come up as well, you get me? Which is amusing as in itself, yeah. you know what I mean? Because there's so many things to the interview, that interview that is, it cracks me up. My mother for what? Did you see my mom? No, this is what I mean. Oh, oh, I didn't oh, oh, I didn't oh, oh. watch it because God. my kids were present. So I didn't know what was there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, let me give you the story. Yeah, let's get into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into right, this. Right, so he's got this goal and then everything, the news of the world is like, um, the son oh, says yeah. it'll be in the paper Monday. So I'm saying, Mom, listen, we got through the next round of the FA Cup. Boom, 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 giant killing. Everything's good to go. I'll show you the paper Monday after yeah. training. So I've gone into training Monday with all the rest of the lads. Picks up the son newspaper. In the son newspaper, he's got the title. He got the best tackle in football and he's not afraid to... Um, show it or either show it or use it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay right so you get where I'm coming what from headline <laughs> now in the what a headline oh my god I read that I look the first thing that come out of my mouth was oh my god my mum's gonna kill me yeah mm. that's the first thing she never mm. knew nothing I was living down London I was playing yeah. football down there I was living down there I was doing everything yeah. down there do you know what I mean so my mum never had to knew but it was for that one thing, that one supporter in that FA Cup run. If I never scored that goal, you know. You would have never came out. Never came out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we have it with that one supporter. That's why it came out. Solely him. But you know, yes. And solely you, him. Solely him. And do you know what? It went viral. <laughs> if I can say anything went viral. This, this thing went viral, man. They picked up so much speed with it. And everything. I spoke, there was an... No word of a lie, the Times, you know the Times? I've never picked That's up the Times. That's like a posh paper there. Yeah. Yeah. I've never picked up the Times <laughs> in my life. <laughs> <laughs> They're interviewing me, man. The Times is too posh for me, I'll tell you straight. Yeah, I'm, that is a posh newspaper. Posh you spot paper, on, man. you spot on. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a son, man. Yeah. I read the son. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I, mean? I understand that. But when I saw it, I goes, mum's going to kill me, man. I swear. <laughs> but I went to, I had to go around anyway. So I've gone around in the evening mm. and she's at home. I says, Mom, how you doing? You all right? She says, yeah, me all right. <laughs> Where the <it> be <laughs> <laughs> The way she says, where's the paper? You haven't got the paper? I said, no, nah, I haven't got it. You know, there's, I, I said, I've, you know what, Mom? They must have sold out because when I went looking for it, I mm. couldn't find any copies of it anywhere. <laughs> so what, did, what, what, what was in there? What, tell me. See, when she said that, I just yeah. knew. You knew it. You knew I she knew, knew that's such a mum type of thing to say that. Yeah, yeah. I knew she'd seen it already, you know. She, she just did. wanted to yeah. make me make me suffer and yeah. tell her the whole thing. You know what I mean? Which I didn't I didn't tell her about the you know what I mean. I just said, oh something about oh, it just says, yeah, about the win and everything, and I left it at that. But Sky rang me up about a week later, there was, I done an interview, from that it, mm. goal, I done an interview for Channel 5 News, yeah. first thing in the morning. I done Central News. I done BBC Midlands Today. I done, mm -mm. you want to see the spread in the news of the world if you're going mm -mm on them. <laughs> 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 
I said <laughs> if you see me spreading the news in the world because oh, the news in the world followed me they followed me for days you know they goes can we do the story can we do the story and I went mm, no, I don't did he offer you and, sorry to cut in did they offer you money for this listen that's where I'll get to yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what's the piece saying what's yeah. the back no, saying listen I yeah. didn't ask for no piece because yeah. I didn't want to do it you yeah. 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 because they were telling me and remember the news of the world mm. is a big paper back yeah. then you know back then it's probably one of the biggest yeah. on a Sunday it's, a, it's yeah. a, sold out so they've gone listen do it do it I was nah 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 so I was fobbing them off all the way through even though I'd done all these other interviews but these yeah. other interviews were talking about football and okay. you yeah. know what I mean yeah so like when I went on channel, they said to me, "How do you think you'll get on against Leicester in the third round?" I says, "Well, until the game's finished, I don't know. I do, but I think we'll put in a good performance, you mm. know, and compete. And as long as we compete, we got a chance because anything can happen. It's the FA Cup." So they goes, um, "No problem." So we're doing all of this, and um, after they said um, about the FA Cup and that, yeah. Hold on one second. Yeah, my nose. Um, oh, I just lost my trailer. Oh, nah, it's calm. It's like, man, it happens in it. It happens in it. You know what? I ain't going to laugh while you was about to pass out or something yeah. like that. No, I was no, like, yo, anyone don't see me out. No, no, no. I was like, make sure no, you're good. No, nah, no, you lost no. your trade before I had people. This is live radio, yeah, live problems. Live, I was panicking. Things happen. Though. Yeah, even no, no. Stroh was panicking. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to pass out. Yeah, no, no, no. That's no, what no. I thought when you said one minute. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is what we don't need. No. But yeah, you said you would speak. It was, they asked you about the Leicester game and you was like, you don't know until yeah, it finishes. All of that, we well, I won't know mm. until it's finished. And mm. to be fair, we did draw the game um, nil nil. We hit the post. We could have won it. Poor Parry could have won it for us. In the end, we drew nil nil. We went to the replay at theirs, which we lost two one in extra time. Okay. But to be fair, I believe Elliot was offside. <laughs> there you go. VAR needed it. VAR needed it. We needed it there. As far as I'm concerned, right, because we our goalkeeper that season, um, Jonah, he was absolutely phenomenal. No mm. word of a lie. Yeah. He kept us in games and took us, you know, yeah. got us through. And um, I save what you thought, he's got this. But it were and then the first person to react was Matt Elliott. No, Matt Elliott, I'm not being funny. He's like, it was massive, it was huge. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so to say for him to react and the quickest like that. No, man, you gotta be an offside. You got yeah, to. Yeah, he definitely offside yeah. just because you reckon That's it was him. Yeah. That's fine. Cool. We, we 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 had the a, a little chance in the last minute, but it didn't work mm -hmm. out. So he just went. Um, but that's yeah. a big. That's a very big stage. But if we'd yeah. won that, you know, we would have been Arsenal on the Saturday, oh, which would have been wow. even bigger. Yeah, that would have been. So, but well, even saying that though, that's that's what um, Leicester. That's that same Leicester team, isn't it? Like the Steve Guppy and yeah, yeah. There was that Phil. There was that Phil. Emil Heskey. Yeah, yeah. Muzzy, is it? Um, he played in the first game. Emil Heskey. Sorry, yeah. um, and. To be fair, he didn't play in the second game. He will, he watched it, and then after the replay, he was gone Liverpool for eleven well, minutes. There you oh, go. Wow. Also, that's when he was on fire, then, isn't it? If you want to call it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> So I, 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 I take it, I take it, you're not um, an Emil Heskey fan. Listen, I know strikers, you know, and Emil Heskey wouldn't be on the top of my list. Oh, is it not? And, no. just, and I just want to put out this disclaimer that the views of Leroy May are not the views of from a third eye view on Emil Heskey. No. <laughs> no, no, these are my views. It's okay. I'm joking. I'll hold them. I'm joking. I'll hold them. You know what it was? It's because last week I did a disclaimer. And that's all. So I was just bringing it no, back this well, week. I, I agree. Yeah, you agree. Oh yeah, and Can the thing is, signed him? oh yeah, you're a yeah, Liverpool fan. I forgot. Thank so, you. Liverpool listen, yeah. listen. We played him in the F we played against him in the FA Cup, right? And I swear to God, he he was two yards out, and he headed over the crossbar from two yards out, <laughs> and he went to Liverpool for eleven million blood. <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you was thinking that week, like, that week, like what's going on here? What? <laughs> eleven million, and he missed the city like that. <laughs> wow, wow. You know what? I'm, I am. It's refreshing, yeah. To hear an opinion like that from someone who's played professional football. I was on the pitch. <laughs> I was on the pitch when I said it. Not, it's not a professional. I could be a supporter. That was a bad meet. Like Let me tell you. <laughs> I was 
his knee in the flesh. Yeah. I thought that's why he never played the next game because he, he missed. missed. Yeah. yeah. But well, he went to Liverpool for 11 move. million. So that was probably already agreed and they said he can't play. And yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. You, don't get me wrong. Listen, whatever, whatever you achieve in football, you know, you yeah. have to take off your hat to whoever it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. Hemoleski, as for, for the knock on the digs that, you know, he played Premier League, yeah. you know, which is something that I can't say that I've done. But at the end of the day, I know if I had the opportunity, because I was on a merry-go-round. These these things are mad, you know, the way they happen. I was on the same merry I should have been on the same merry-go-round mm. merry as when Andy Cole was going United, Stan Collymore to Liverpool. Yeah. Um, that's because Newcastle, at the time I played for England, Newcastle, Crystal Palace were watching me really heavy. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I got injured and I missed my England game against Wales through injury um, because I'd done... It was the worst injury I ever had in football and it kept me out for 12... About three months. It happened just after Christmas. So remember back then, the um, deadline day was March. End yeah, of March. March. Yeah, yeah, you remember? Yeah, Stroke okay. will remember. He, he, yeah, 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 he's, he, he's, he's the, the statue. Statu yeah, he's the oh, statue okay, yeah, of the show. Okay. So if you say anything to him, yeah, this happened in 1984, yeah, yeah. he'll be like, oh, yes, yeah, 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 add yeah. on to it. Like, even when we mentioned you, he had, oh, Leroy, me, I know such and such, and yeah, was yeah. telling us things, even things about you. I had to go and research. Yeah, yeah. JV had to research yeah. in that. He knew stuff off the top of his head. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. he's the statue. And he's younger than us. Yeah. That's good. He's the statue. That's, you know what, Stro, that's now your name. We're calling you the statue now. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's the statue. <laughs> he is, he's the statue now. He is the statue. Well, just, just, just a quick question. So yes. I know you mentioned Crystal Palace and Newcastle. Who was the manager at Newcastle at the time? Was it Keegan? Or was yeah, Keegan. Ke listen, listen, it was Keegan because um, Forrest as well were looking at me because remember, Colin Moore was part of that um, yeah, merry-go-round. Yeah, so he yeah. went Liverpool and I got injured at the time. Um, when I did come back, because you know when you're kind of like, you know you're not ready, but you just want to be in the window so you can get out of dodge. Yeah, I've done that. So I kind of like forced it a bit. And I, I was never, I, I wasn't 100% fit um, when Palace watched me on just before um, deadline day. So, uh, and I think they offered, before deadline day, they did offer 60 grand though. Okay. They cool. offered 60,000 pounds for me. Greensby, I think it was Grimsby, uh, or another club offered 80,000. But this is where, you know, the Bosman ruling, I totally yeah. agree with it because at the end of the day, I went from Hereford United to Stafford Rangers uh, for nothing, for a free, mm. on a free, you know. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. And um, so Stafford didn't have to pay a penny for me, you know what I mean? Mm. They weren't paying me a fortune. Good God, nowhere near fortune. <clears throat> but um, I went there nonetheless. So when these teams came in for me and I'd broken into the England squad, because I'd broken into the England squad while I was at Stafford, playing for Stafford Rangers. Yeah. And it was, Collymore preceded me mm -hmm. and it was what Collymore had done and the fee that they got for Collymore was what was the noose was around my neck. If you yeah. know what I mean, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. if we can get this for Collymore and he ain't really done for us what Leroy's done, then yeah. we should be able to get more for Leroy. Uh, because yeah. I had a conversation with the chairman and the manager and I says, listen, please don't price me out of a move back into football league. You know what I mean? I yeah. said, because you're not paying me a fortune. You haven't paid me a fortune. You haven't like no big monies or anything like that. So please... You know, if a club offer 50, that's money for you. Yeah. And it's big money still. Yeah. You Take know what it, I mean? Because yeah. you ain't paid me, you ain't you haven't paid me 10 grand to say in wages and signing on fee. Yeah. So, so they're grand. not losing out. No, no, no. Yeah, no. 50 yeah, yeah, grand, yeah. 60. And remember, they had offers of 80,000 pounds. So when I didn't go, and it's not because of the injury, it's because, because remember, they had the offers prior to the injury. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you understand? Right. So when okay. I did get injured now, yeah. those offers was like on the back burner. Yeah. And like, obviously, I, I've got to try to prove myself all over yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. So it was like one of those ones. That I knew the season was dead from uh, the 
um, transfer deadline went. So it was just like oh, okay. Those, so while she was at, so while she was at Hereford as well, was there a team that is like was their biggest rivals or local rivals, and it was always like a big game for you while she was there. When I was there, the biggest game that we was had um, was Kidderminster when I went back the second time, so which was against my old club. Okay, so it had that uh, double meaning uh, for you type of thing. Well, a double meaning because the season before I was yeah, at... Yeah, go on. Um, I can see <laughs> Go on, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> the season before I was at Eriford, I, yeah. I mean, I was at Kidderminster and mm. I finished, believe it or not, as a high goal scorer. Um, yeah, Moby came and obviously he brought mm. my What Marshall. a player. Listen, what a, pl- listen, not just a player, he's a great manager as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Cause he, um, brought a different kind of football and he just lifted the whole place at Kidderminster at the end of the what, day. What and- was it like? Because obviously I've watched old school Liverpool videos and the way my dad would explain it to me was obviously I never got to watch him live. I just watched him on videos, but even on the videos, he was, Paul Scholes esque, he could run a game with his eyes closed. He was the he wasn't the fastest because obviously his stature, but his technique was incredible. What well, was he like as a man? Well, as a as a person, I didn't really have any interaction with him until like mm-hmm. we played against him because as he take as he took over, I was um already on my way to Hereford more or less because yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. spoken to Hereford. Heri- Graham Turner, he watched me um, play for the reserves, Kidderminster reserves on a Wednesday night over in Hereford mm-hmm. somewhere. And I, to be fair, you know, it was, it's not a game that's beneath me because like no games should be beneath yeah, me, you yeah. know what I mean? But he knew mm-hmm. I shouldn't have been there on a Wednesday night with the reserves, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of thing. Um, but it's the attitude that I had and the attitude that I showed. Don't get me wrong. There was a geezer on the other side that was trying to dig me out and everything. Yeah. But the more you dig me out, the more I'm going to play football. And that laugh. just shows though, you know, you yeah, know yeah. when players are doing that to you, you know it's because they can't stop you. In oh God, ways. listen. Yeah. Have you played football league before? Nope. There you go. Argument done. <laughs> 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 Nothing else to say. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's facts. 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 Yeah, that's facts. Listen, facts and figures don't yeah. lie. So lies yeah, yeah, never yeah, You live the yeah, dream of millions. Of course. Of course. You live the you dream. That's why I don't. So then that's why when them players are trying it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, you're so far ahead of them anyway. Yeah. That after that game, Graham Turner saw something in me that he says, because remember, he was Wolves manager when I was in the England squad, you know, and he ca- he could have come for me at the same time. But yeah. this, when I tell you what he told me at 33, you're never going <laughs> <laughs> to... Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait, wait. Back up to the hands. You know it's no, a real it? issue. You know, you know it's a real issue. Go on, he said, go on. Listen, he came, for, he, he signed me. He said, we want to sign you, boom, 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 full time. So I was like, yeah, I'm happy. Mm. I'm going full time again. Kidderminster was part time and that, you know what I mean? But full time was it is is for me, it's better, you know what I mean? Yeah, All yeah, you're doing yeah. is focusing oh. on football. So as soon as I had the opportunity to go full time again, yeah. I just took it yeah. both hands. Snatched it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um money was it was good as well, do you know what I mean? So always a bonus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in a play, I, when he signed me, yeah, yeah. Um he goes to me in the in, in a meeting. <laughs> He says, uh, so what will you be doing? No, he said to me at first, he said, the reason I want to sign you is he says, I've watched you play in that game on Wednesday. And it was his words. It was a nothing game. He said, but your attitude and the way you conducted yourself, he says, it it made me think and I realised that, you know, there's something more to you. Yeah. And I want to sign you. So we sp- spoke and everything was agreed. Then he goes, so what will you be doing in, during the close season? Because I weren't going to see him until... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I says, I th- this is what I, at the time, because I, I never had no plans, because usually I just go away for the... Mm, yeah. For the, a break, yeah. If they take come back the 11th of July and it's the end of May, I'm gone. I'm in a different country mm-hmm. till they tell me to come back. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. that's what I used to do, just go away on holiday. Um, for the whole 11 weeks. We was getting paid. Do you know what I mean? So well, Why not? Why, why not? not? Yeah, makes exactly. Sense. <laughs> makes sense, yeah. Why exactly. Not? <laughs> why not? So um, he goes to me, so what will you be doing? And I said to him, I says, um, I'm going to be doing my part-time job. <laughs> so he, goes, <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. Well, what's that then? And I says, uh, 
I'm going to be stripping. <laughs> <laughs> what was his face? That's the thing, his face that's the thing his because face. nobody sees this man laugh, you know. Yeah. Nobody sees this man does not crack a smile for yeah. nothing. Stone you know. face. Stone. Yeah. Stone, yeah. stone, 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 stone. Yeah. Let me tell you, my man, he looked. Then he looked away. Because yeah. he's like one of those people that like, did he really say that? Did he really say that to me? And he's looked and then all of a sudden, I'm not joking, he burst out the biggest laugh you've <laughs> ever seen. And it, while he was laughing, he goes, nobody's ever said anything like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. So you're going to be stripping, are you? Like, yeah, something like that. But really... I went away for the 11 weeks in the, hmm. I went Canada and the States. And then um, when I came back, I came back a day before pre-season. When we got back, my God, we were doing, because pre-season is the hardest training that you'll do during yeah. the hmm. season, you know what I mean? And we got back and I turned up, for, I weren't, I never fell asleep until like five o'clock because my body clock's on American yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, 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 time. Yeah. So like we've got to turn. We I'm leaving. I leave out the house about eight o'clock. <laughs> falling asleep five half five. You know, <laughs> it wasn't working. So I've gotten the football, and the gaffer says we do. It's a running day, so we've done two eight hundreds. Yeah, four. No, Jeez. two eight hundreds, two four hundreds, four two hundreds, four one hundreds. Yeah, here Jeez. it is. And then the gaffer goes, we're doing a bleep test oh, <laughs> on top of that. Oh, oh my Listen, God. this wasn't tomorrow, you know. This was on top of the running that we've done already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he said, we're doing a bleep test. I swear to God, I looked Jeez. at him and I went, what? Bleep test. I must have got to 1.1 1. 1 or something. One, level 1.4 1. or 5. And I said, gaffer, I can't do no more, man. I said, I'm mashing. <laughs> but he looked at me, the look he gave me. I swear to God, he thought... What the hell have I signed? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, that was the look he gave me. You know, what the hell have I signed? Have I done the right thing here? Mm. But you know, that was like, as I said, there was a reason. My body clock yeah. weren't right. Mm. Right, going on to when he said what he said now. Yeah. So, <laughs> here we go. We're in March, April time. Yeah. My man goes to me after a running day. So this running day, yeah, I think Tony James was the quickest, was a was the best runner in the club. Well, at the time they thought he was the best. I know I was the best runner in the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I proved it this day. Yeah, you get me? I may have been, you know, just. Yeah, but yeah. You, you pick a time and you pick a moment, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I killed this running day. When I say killed it, I killed it, man. The lads, every football club I've gone to, when it comes to running, they all go. Please, Leroy, don't make us look bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Leroy, don't, don't be, don't don't be running on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just chill in it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every African runner you can yeah. think of, Henry, Henry Rono, Kip Tanui, the lot, they've been called it blood. <laughs> 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 I've been called all these names. Yeah, yeah. Don't be running off like that, Kip Tanui, and yeah, like just that. relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, let me tell you. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so this day, I run, man. Let me tell you. When we finished running, Graham Turner called me over. He said, "Leroy, can I have a word?" <laughs> so he's having a word with me, and he goes, "I'm not joking." He says, "You are the fittest, thirty-three-year-old of." ever come across and he says you could still play football higher up at 33 he said this wow. to me you know and he goes your attitude is fantastic and he says how wrong can people be because he says you that time i had the reports about me and everything when i was in the england squad and that mm -hmm. and he says and there's a there's something that preceded me. Don't get me. Don't ask me what it was that preceded me. But something preceded me that made him think differently of me. Until he met you. Until he met me. And you me. just bust that. And down, I yeah. bust his, the I bust it down. I broke it down yeah. and made him think. Burst the whole bubble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He totally he got me at yeah. the end. You get me. And yeah. for him to say that to me at the age that I was, 
I took that and I thought, yeah, all right, you know what I mean. Mm. But don't get me wrong, I was thinking you could have signed me. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You could have signed you. You could have yeah, yeah, the conversation yeah. inside you. Listen, yeah. Wolves is my hometown. You know what I mean. Yeah. So um, he could have definitely signed me. No, no, I know. hear that. But to hear him say that and to admit that, which is a big thing, you know, because yeah. mm. to me he didn't have to say that to me. But yeah. He did, and I thank him for that, even though. I missed the, at the end of the season. Right, I had so. a year left. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. So I had I want, a year left. Want, so go on, go on, Sorry. Strum. Go on, Strum. Oh, you're going to ask me about that year, innit? No, well, what I was going to ask was, obviously, I know you scored goals in your career. Does it feel different scoring in an FA Cup game? Does it feel different? You, to me, a goal is... A, uh, all goals feel the same to me, you know? <laughs> A goal is a goal. So there isn't a goal that you've scored that sticks out like at that moment, like the crowd went crazy or anything like that, or Pacific or it was a winning goal or equalising goal or something like that. There's not one goal that sticks out or even two goals that stick out. Don't get me wrong, I've scored on a personal level. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying on a personal level. That that stick out for me. Well, Um, yeah, that's what we're asking on a personal level. um, But... No cheers, no. It, I could roll it in. It could have come off my my back or my yeah. face, and it's gone in. <laughs> well, the fans, the fans are gonna bark. Nah, they're gonna yeah, rock. Yeah. Classic goal scorer. Yeah. That's what it is. You want the goal? I yeah. scored a goal with any part. Name a part of my body. Yeah, I've scored, scored it. Scored goal, yeah. it it's come off it. Face, yeah. shoulder, face, shoulder. Every- Fight. Listen, I don't care. Goal is a goal, and uh, by any means necessary, man. Now it's true because <laughs> you know I mean? if you if you win the most important game and it bubbles in off your off your shin nobody and it's the last minute it. yeah no one cares nobody, about that yeah. nobody's gonna say he went in off his that shin. was a bad finish yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying they're not saying the newspaper 1-0 yeah. but it come off his shin, shin. no 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 and remember this they don't remember really the man who passes you the ball either. yeah nah, it's only, only, remember the goal scorer true say only mm. in more recent time with assisters yeah, yeah, becoming yeah. more only more recent yeah becoming more what's the word I'm looking for yeah, well, only with a, people who assist coming more. What's the word I'm looking for? Like lucrative, they get yeah. more of the shine yeah, now. Lucrative. Yeah. yeah, lucrative. Yeah, like they now it's but back nowadays. Then, but that, no back really then it was who put the ball in the net. Like, yeah, no one yeah. really care about the build up. Like holding, even holding midfielders now. Like they get a lot of shine. Like defensive yeah. midfielders, even centre backs. But back then it was strikers. Everyone yeah. was a nine. Like you ask everyone where they play. I'm a striker. I'm a striker. That's everyone wanted all the glory. Mm, yeah. You see, man, on um, Instagram it's Leroy Main nine. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, 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 I see that. I see that. I see that. And I thought, you know what? Yeah. He wants he's, a, to... he's a nah, he's a striker. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He knows. He wants people you. to know. Yeah. Because you see, I hear people say, oh, he's a forward. For... Listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a striker. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not a forward, you know. I'm a striker. You're a striker. So <laughs> when I tell you I'm a striker, that means I'm going to score your goals. I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've been signed by managers and the managers have gone, yeah, so yeah. what is it you're going to do? What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna score goals. Yeah, yeah. that's what I come that's to what do. That's what I do. That's what you see me do. That's, what you, that's why I'm here. That's why yeah. you me. I'm gonna score goals, yeah. and I ain't got nothing else to say other than I'm gonna score your goals. goals. Yeah. The only reason why I asked that question was because, correct me if I'm wrong, but you actually scored the winner against York in the FA Cup. You're absolutely right. Sir. Oh yeah, I think Strong, and that was you missed the, convers- the, part you missed, of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah because that, that, yeah, you were there. Like yeah, 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 yeah. See, Stroll Stattle, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause cause I, with that was, one, <laughs> you Stattle. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with that one, we we said that it just the whole of the FA Cup run and everything went. Mm, it was it was a magical experience. That was it was you know to score the goal, but the press the. All the afters and everything was see like fantastic. only nowadays the the um, non league stuff gets a lot of coverage yeah mm. so like back then you scoring that was that one of them like yo I'll be on match of the day tonight bro or I'll be on you know what I mean well d- don't, when I was at um, when we was at Hereford it was um, their match of the days is Central South yeah so yeah. it's gonna be BBC South yeah 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 which yeah, are yeah, gonna yeah. have different match of the day so it'll show Swindon. Hereford and those ones. When I'm up here, well, yeah. when I was at Warsaw and we was on the telly, we was always on Midlands yeah, today yeah, yeah, and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So, you know, um, I've been on, as I said, I've, been, I've seen myself a co- couple of times, but the first time it ever happened was, remember when I said uh, signed for Warsaw? Yeah. And we played the, I scored the hat trick. Yeah. Um, no okay. word of a lie, I'm lying in bed next to my daughter's mum. Yeah. <laughs> 
And all of a sudden, <laughs> and uh, Warsaw playing, beating Northampton 7-0 seven, seven with Neil Tolson and Leroy May scoring a uh, hat-trick. Wow. Neil Tolson scored four. But this is the radio, Beacon Radio. This yeah, is our yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah. That I'm like, I'm hearing my voice on the radio, my name on the radio, and I... Rest, that I must be surreal. Up. Yo, I jumped up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did, you, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's what I'm saying. Dev Times is radio, yeah, but it's radio. So it's like, yeah. No. That must be surreal, though, to you, be just chilling there, listening, and then you hear I wasn't even chilling. It woke us up. It woke, the, yeah. it was the alarm. Oh, so you woke everybody up. And then that's up. the bulletin. And, and then that the was alarm. the bulletin. Yeah, yeah. After the alarm, the news, it was like, Wow. That's crazy. So it's Did not even it, the case of you was looking out for it. Yeah. It's just no, no. boom. It, it ju- it, I wasn't looking for it. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, it, yeah. When it came, boom. Uh, don't get me wrong. I was it. Uh, Yo, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Did you, yeah. Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> that's me, you know, that's me. I swear. I swear. God. It was brilliant, man. It was nah, surreal. It, it must be. So obviously with the whole, well, I want to ask you, obviously being an ex-professional footballer and everything with the coronavirus and contracts running out, how would you have dealt with it? So say your contract was coming to an end mm-hmm. and then the season stopped. And then when the season starts back, your contract's finished. What would... What would you have done? Would you have stepped away from your club or would you have re-signed with your club? Say he was like unsure, say he was 50-50 on if he was going to re-sign or not. Okay. If I'm, say, young yeah, and I've got the world at my foot, mm. then I'm going to sign. I'm going to do what my club asked me to do. Okay. Um, if I'm like coming to the later ages and mm. It's an it's one of them things. Do they want me to play them six games, them nine mm. games, even though my contract may finish in June, uh, or am I too old to get another contract? Or, but to be fair, it's to honour it. Yeah, that's a good point, it. though, that you've made. Mm. See, last week we had the thing where we was talking about there'll be players who would instantly be looking to get away. Mm-hmm. But then I never thought of that point. Am I going to be of use in these games? Yeah, that's it's, a fair point. That, well, if your contract's finishing and you before the coronavirus, you, mm. you weren't going to get a chance. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Then yeah. your attitude may not change because yeah. like, you're mm. thinking, well, what the hell am I doing now? I don't want to... They're not having me for next season or anything yeah. like that. So you may have that thinking in your head as well. But for me, personally... I don't know my contract. If it finished on the thirtieth, I'd offer the, my services to the club and say, "Listen, we, what can we do? Yeah. What can I do? Yeah. Or what do you want me to do? Even if you want me to get and send me out the door after, mm. that's fine. Because guess what? Within the time allocated, regardless, without the covo- coronavirus, mm. I would have done it anyway. Yeah. Uh, do you get where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, 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 so yeah. my view mm. is, I would have done it anyway, but for the coronavirus, mm. so I'm going to do it anyway. I'm mm. not going to ask for any more money. You don't even have to sign me. I'll play them nine games free, mm. even because you honour your contract, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Enough, and that's at a, the end of the day. Yeah, very good point. I, and yeah. I'm, I'm not, because I've seen so many footballers that, you know, um, for want of a better word, think that they're, they're bigger than the club yeah. and that mm-hmm. they can behave in a certain way where, you know what, uh, it's all about me, myself and I. Hey, mm. Me, myself and I don't own no football club. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> All right, then. So, <laughs> from you don't own no football club, you better do what you have yeah. to do. There you go. But you know what? That's perfectly brought me on to something I want to ask you. Because you're saying, we was coming up the stairs, we was talking about um, who do you support? You yes. said United fan. I was going to I've been a Man United, United fan since 1977. See that? I knew there was saying I liked about you. That's what I'm saying, United yeah. fans. We just know. We just know, innit? We just know. We can just feel it. We just know, innit? Even though I love Stroll to death, you're a Liverpool fan. But Stroll, I still love you, you know but you this. see that point you've just made about me, myself and I, and, you know, being for the club or thinking you're bigger than the club. Do you think that with someone like Paul Pogba? Who gets a lot of Ooh, that's a good question. heat for that? Because it, when you said that, then that is the ideal, not ideal, but that's the number one person who I'd say gets that said about him. But what would you think in terms of that? coming from an ex pro? Because I'm sick of hearing Sunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing everyone <laughs> Pogba. <bashing. Carriga>. Yeah, <laughs> I want to hear another opinion. Yeah. You may not like my opinion, you know. No, no I, I okay. value it. I value no, it. You know what? Because we know you'll it. be honest about it. Yeah. That's why I want to hear it. Okay. Me, I think he's taken the mickey with United, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I think he's taken the mickey because he could have played. Dun, 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 
He could have played the same way he can dance. Right, exactly. I the see same this. way he can play. Blood. Yes. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. I love how the patois came out. We're having we a little two step. No, no, no. Mammals this ain't no two. Listen. He was getting down. The man's getting down at these brothers <laughs> where he did right. And then telling you about ankle. And telling you about ankle. Yeah, Listen, man. man. You can't tell me about ankle when you're dancing like that. <laughs> so imagine you, imagine you in your day doing that and that video comes up. Mate, I'll, you I'll, saying you're injured hmm. and that video comes up and your manager sees that. Listen, I'd hmm. expect to get. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here's a question. So I've been playing professional football. If you're in the change room with a player who's yeah. claiming that they're injured, the video then leaks and you've seen it like what do you think any of the players have said anything to him? I think you know, like- there's some people that are just too big. And if you say anything to them, they ain't gonna. Ma- they ain't even gonna take it on board anyway. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. they think they're too big. And when you think about it, Man United are sponsored by Adidas. Mm-hmm. Pogba is Adidas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And I yeah. think yeah. that's where Edward Woodward he gets it all mixed up because he thinks having Pogba is is holding on to that seven hundred and odd million pound what we got from Adidas, but. Russ, holding on to Pogba is just causing us headaches, man. Deep because ball. he, he doesn't want to play for the club. If he wanted to play for the club, he would have played this season already. But he's gone out there. He's got. He's, he, even his agent, his agent, you know, yeah, what his, mean? his agent's poison. He's poisoned, man. And mm. and at the end of the day, from his going on like that with the toxic. And don't get me wrong, I, I know about your stats. You can show me stats see, all day and the stats will tell me, but it's not what I see. Do you understand? If you, you get yeah, where I'm coming from, yeah. it's not what I see. I don't see the sweat. I don't see the getting dirty. I don't see you mm. pulling up your socks and getting in a, you know, you know what, what it makes me think with the Go stats, on. the whole stats situation. Yeah. Well, how bad the team, I got a point to it. It's not even that, it's not even, it's not even how bad the team is, you know, on, it you makes go. me think you could probably add another 10 on the gold and another mm. 10 on the assist if you put in that extra work yeah. oh, and I yeah. think that's, and that's think him not would, working but out. I've said this before and I'll say this again in terms of him and I've said it about Oli as well Pogba is in the worst possible situation at United not only is he playing under the worst manager we've had especially in our lifetime easily the CEO's terrible we know how bad Woodward is we know how toxic and bad the club is we know how bad the owners are and on top of this he's playing our position you and he's what? still putting up them numbers pre-January mm. yeah. I would have agreed with you on that but Bruno's shown me something totally different. But the thing is, he's well, making it, Bruno, yeah, yeah, has made the best of a bad situation. But his, the thing is, with Bruno's numbers, if you look at Bruno's numbers and you look at Pogba's numbers, there's not much difference. Exactly, though. That's though, that's but, what I'm saying. And no. Bruno's playing in position, and yeah. imagine them two together. No, but this is yeah, that, yeah. that furthers my point. Then, yeah, yeah, go if on. Bruno, if Bruno, because mm. if Bruno's numbers, yeah, yeah, are similar to Pogba's, yeah. and Bruno's. Um, working like a steam train yeah, yeah, yeah. and Pog was cruising yeah. that shows then if he put in that extra work he will be he, he will better those numbers you've got someone who's doing good mm. alright then if me and you are doing the same yeah, yeah. but I'm chilling and you're yeah. going full speed ahead yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't mean you're as good as me yeah. I don't, I've said we, we spoke on this when we spoke about French players and we was jokingly talking about it like I stated before, I just think that's him. I don't see a lack of work ethic from him in it. Like, obviously, at times, it looks bad when he's lazy, but he's the pinpoint. We spoke about Bruno. Pogba's numbers are actually better than Bruno's, but the way people are making out as if Bruno... I don't know. what We always seem to do this. We did it with Martial and Rashford, where we have to compare the two rather than the two of them together. People are talking about Bruno or Pogba. Why can't they play together? Bear in mind as well, Bruno is also playing with an informed Fred. Let's not forget that. That's a massive difference in that where mm-hmm. as Pogba was in there with a, a Matic uh, or a McTominay and none of those are an informed Fred. And he was playing, sorry Stroll to cut you off, and he was playing also without Martial up top. All these make differences because those two are on the same wavelength. If you put Pogba in this team now, he tops the numbers for everything, like he did not this season, gone in the last season. But go on, Strong. No, I was going to say the club haven't helped him. Like I remember when um, mm. a couple of seasons ago we played you at Old Trafford and the game finished one all. Yeah. And to be fair, like everyone has bad games. Pogba had a really bad game, but he was on the billboard of everything. Mm. He was talked about all the way through it. He was the marketing campaign for Adidas outside the stadium. Yeah, because you paid a hundred mil for him. Yeah, penalty. wait, was it the handball? Did he give away the penalty yeah, by accident yeah, for handball? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just double checking. Like, go on, go on. Like, 
he doesn't need that kind of pressure on him. Like, let's be honest, the mm. biggest game in UK football is United Liverpool. That yeah. will never change. Yeah, yeah. City, City can come about. Chelsea can do whatever they do in life. Mm. Biggest game historically will always be mm. us and United. Yeah. Right? So that's a big game as it is. Old Trafford, massive game. Yeah. Pogba, your biggest player, you just signed him for 90 million. He doesn't need that added pressure of him being on the billboard and on mm. the banners and everything like he's just I hear what he's you're saying. Not been that's out. in his contract. Yeah, that's in his contract. But again, I don't He's getting paid for in that. In terms of that, he's getting paid for that. I don't judge that, even though I don't think it's necessarily a help. I think I he loves that. I don't think it's a hindrance to him. That's exactly what I was about to say. I think he loves that. I think he pulls up to the stadium. I think he pulls up to that car park. sees yeah. himself there. Because he has... 50 foot poles yeah. going goes, yeah. yeah, because he likes that. Probably dabs that. in front of it yeah, as you <laughs> on would. the way into the changing room. As you room. would. I, you know what? No, no, no. no, no. I, I agree. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying, innit? I'm me. I'll be dabbing as well. I'll be dabbing as well. I'm saying. I don't think that phases him. I don't think that would phase him. I agree with... I think, I think, if anything... I agree. That probably might even boost him before the match. I think it does well, it him. should, and it I think should. it does. I think, but I should. think him now coming back into this team, I think with Fred and Bruno Martial playing up top, that helps him. I think because people forget, obviously, when he's putting up them numbers, he was playing out of position, and that's vitally important. He is not a holding midfielder. No, 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 he's not, he's he's not, not. And he was being played as a DM. Do you know what it is with him? Fair on him. Do you know what it is with Pogba? Again, we spoke about this again. Sorry to cut no, you no, off. Go on, go on, go on. In terms of being this, there's a reason that in England we will never produce as he done. A Ronaldinho because we are all hard work kick and run Ronaldinho's the greatest player I've ever, I've ever seen in my lifetime he played wide left I never ever seen him track a fullback he would get criticised for that in this country yeah. but over there they let they, yo, we have holding midfielders for that let him go bro look at Messi I've never seen him track a fullback Messi, in his Messi life. Messi walks played, half the match. Zidane played centre mid in a 4-4-2. <laughs> I never seen him track a midfielder ever. He played in That's a 4-4-2 wild. era. That's we wild. We would never produce it. <laughs> that is wild, isn't there it? There we go, in it. Yeah. The yeah. winger... The well, if you had these yeah. touchy... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 The thing is, yeah. I, I don't think he... If Zidane, we were saying this if Zidane last was week. English, I don't think he makes it over here. I think he gets criticised and he gets called late. reckon? I don't think he makes it over here. No, no, no. Let me just say something. Go on. Do you remember that game against Bayer Leverkusen? Where, the, where, the, where, where he just dropped the ball, the yeah. dropped the ball out the air and thing, and just yeah, you telling me with no. that touch you can go because anywhere. You know, you, you, know. you know why? I don't, though, let me do, sorry because we're closing, coming to a close. I just want to say one more thing. Look at my man, the winger that's at um, Bayern Munich now, Gnabry. Yeah, Bayern Munich, one of the biggest clubs in the world. He's playing first team. He was at West Brom and couldn't get a game. Tony, was, why is that? Tony Pulis said he meant. I'm sure he was at uh, um, Arsenal as yeah, well. Yeah, we come from Arsenal. Couldn't get a game because you know why? Get a game. That English mentality. Oh, you don't track the fullback over there in yeah. Brazil and France and that we have attacking players You're to an attack, attacker, yeah. and yeah. we have defensive players to defend. <clears throat> Well, yeah, go on. Um, yeah, we're coming to a close. I just, just want to get a, off my one last question I wanted yeah. to ask you, Leroy. Because we got a couple Who minutes left. Who is the either the best player you enjoyed playing with, or the most talented player that you've played with? Who you personally feel? Lee Hughes is up there. Cause the striker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. he was very good. Yo, listen, we was at Kiddy together, and he was yeah. my he was my roommate for Kiddy, and he was my roommate. What used to up top? Yo, we used to Mad. kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> listen, that, you know. Me and Lee used to run a, yeah. run ragged, right? I swear. But um, what I will say is that um, he was my um roommate for all the Kiddy away games, and we were roommates for the England squad as well. So. Um, Lee's up there because he's a finisher and he got oh, pace say, as well. Some yeah, 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 yeah. Lee's, Lee's a finisher, man, and he's got pace as well with it as well. Yeah, so I pick. Um, I just want to say, just to, before I cut you off, for people, the on air thing is coming to but this the on air is coming to an end, but this will make this the act the extra. This will make the YouTube uh, Spotify footage. So, yeah, salute to everyone who locked in. Go on, finish. Can, yeah, you can finish the question there. It's just going in off air now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No yeah, problem. yeah, yeah. Finish answering the question. Yeah, yeah it's so, fine. So, Lee Hughes, and then, so um, would you say he's the. Don't get me wrong. I'm, there's. Um, I was at Notts County. Um, when I was at Stafford, Notts County was one of the teams that was looking at me, and I went and played um, a game against Bolton. Yeah. Um, I think Bolton got to. The playoffs that season as well. Um, so it's going back to 96, I think. But De Freitas, Fabian De Freitas, remember the striker who played? He was at yeah, West I'm Brom? Yeah, he yeah, went yeah, to West yeah, Brom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he played. Um, some other guys, Brennan, Brennan was in goal for them and everything as well. But we won that game 3-1. I had a 
that talk about goals. That was a goal and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Listen. <laughs> I pinged this ball from outside the box, you yeah. know, on the half volley, mate. Mm. Even now, Brennan gonna move the balls, coming back out the net. <laughs> yeah, 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 coming back stanchion, past him. Stanchion and come back past him. He's still never moved, man. It was a great goal, that was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, man. Yeah, man, big. Well, yo, Leroy, obviously we ran over time. That's the first time we've done that. But hey, we have to do that when the special guest, you feel yeah, me? We yeah. ran over time and that. Um, anything else you want to add, Leroy, before we finish the show? Nah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Yo, man, man. Yeah. glad that you had me up here. Yo, man. Man. Anytime, we'll have we'll you back. back on, anytime, man. we'll have you on. We'll make sure, we'll make sure Stattles in the studio yeah. as well. <laughs> well to be, back. Yeah, because like, to be <laughs> fair, it'll be good because... Um, I've got like lots of stuff coming up and that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be launching. Oh yeah, tell him. It's calm. My tell autobiography. Is yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's going to be a good read. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, I'm looking at doing, getting that off the ground. Um, plus I want to do, um, well, I've been speaking with the, both BBC and ITV um, about um, a documentary as well. Okay. So we're kind of close on that, but That's... I don't really want to say too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah, enough. Just in enough. case it, you yeah. know, doesn't yeah, yeah, transpire. Yeah, yeah. But no. yeah, yeah, it's, it's it, all good things are happening. Um, my commentating that I've, you know, recently taken up. Um, okay, so what you've been commentating on? Which um, games Football is it? games. I've been Which commentating games? on Hereford, this for the BBC. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, I've done the FA Cup game, mm. which was against um, Tamworth. With they lost that yeah. one. I've done a game against Alfreton, um, not too. That was at the beginning of the year. I was okay. supposed to do, believe it or not, um, Saturday Telford and Hereford. Mm. Saturday coming on. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday yeah. coming. Oh, but yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, yeah. as I said, things were picking up and mm. gathering momentum. So it slowed down at the moment, but yeah. you know, um, with everything that's going on, and I'm really excited about the things mm. that to come. You know what I mean? And uh, hopefully, I'll, when they do come, I'll be back up here too. Yeah, yeah man, definitely. anytime. Yeah, you have, yeah, I say yeah, this on there, I say it to you privately. Yeah, you have like open, like, oh, you have to do the, now the, the line's open, just contact me and be like, I know I want to come up on this, cool. Yeah, yeah. But therefore, have you back. You know what I mean? Because you're a highly entertaining guest. <laughs> definitely, highly definitely. entertaining. I know you got you know more what? stories we'll, as well. We'll try and get you back on for when the football all gets back rolling yeah. and we can yeah, review yeah, yeah. the yeah, matches and everything. Listen, yeah. that would be back. absolutely yeah, fantastic. Yeah, man, come on, regular and that. Definitely. Stro, anything you want to add? Well, I've just got it. I couldn't make it to the studio. Well, no. to be fair, I'm gutted you couldn't make it because yeah. we could have talked about what do you think is going to happen for the season and yeah. if you're going to get crowned. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I know yeah, it may be that. a sore subject right about now. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? (laughs) Me personally, on a personal level, they need to play the season. Yeah, yeah. they'll finish the season. They need to finish the season. If they don't finish it, then, you know, null and void it Mm. because that's the only other option. I think they'll just push it back. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what they need to do. But if they don't, if they Mm. can't finish it and they're going to cancel it, Mm. it needs to be null and void, unfortunately. Because Mm. other than continue, completing it mm. the whole who far who for you and that of not completing yeah. it and yeah, all yeah. that it's just going to be mad so it better to null and void it rather than to say yeah, yeah we've mm. given this to liverpool we've given that to the we, mm. we relegated them west brom yeah you can come up Leeds. Mm. that can't work right? yeah that can't it, work yeah, that yeah, can't work you gotta do you gotta yeah. null and if you can't finish the season you have to null and void it null and void it and yeah. that's you know as a Man U fan, when we won the title in 92, I went mm. on my knees and I swear to God, I said, Lord, in my lifetime, don't let Liverpool win the league again. And I don't know why he's come with this coronavirus right now. Yeah, you know what? It could be that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know why? Because you I thought this is the year I was going to dead to tell you the truth. What? <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I, that's the same thing. I didn't 28, do it. Yeah, I, 28 I, I, years later, you know, yeah. the president answers. <laughs> I didn't say it in 92, but I did say it in general. I was like, yeah, in my lifetime, I do not need Liverpool winning no, the no, league. No, I went through this. Listen, yeah. I went through the 80s. Oh, yeah, you went through the 80s. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an old boy, yeah. man. You know I, mean? I went through the 80s where they yeah. were winning everything yeah. you know what I mean don't get me wrong we did beat you 2-1 in 77 and that's why I support United yeah. 
Okay. You remember that oh. FA Cup game? Oh. It's before our time. Yeah, yeah. You remember that show? <laughs> show sure. remember that. He'll know. He'll know. He's got out of VHS <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> That's one of the games you don't watch in his show. <laughs> but yeah, on that note, let's close out the show. Shout out, Leroy. It's been great having you on. Obviously, former Hereford, Kinnamins, the striker. I don't know. Give you another round of applause. Yeah, yeah, man. Big show. Another round of we'll have you back. And this has been a longer <coughs> edition of From a Third Eye View on Pi Radio. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back next week, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. <laughs>